Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I am joined, as always, by a stranded Guybrush Threepwood. We're on Monkey Island. We need to get off of it. Escape from it, even. First, though, I want to talk to Timmy. Can I talk to Timmy? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? I can look at him. How did he get here anyway? Yeah, how did the monkey get here anyway? Look, there's a bunch of bananas up there. It looks like that's the only bunch of bananas in the area that these ravenous monkeys haven't gotten their opposable thumbs on yet. Filthy monkeys. Hey, there's a starfish. This poor starfish died on the dry, sandy shore of Monkey Island. Hope I don't share his fate. That's something you definitely don't want to happen. We have a note here. Let's see who it's from. Ever-increasing monkey population. Stop overpopulating the island. There are only so many bananas. Sign, H.T. H.T. That sounds vaguely familiar. We will move on though. We are indeed on Monkey Island. And our first stop is actually over here to uh, the canyon. Just hike to the regular canyon. We don't need to go to the far side just yet. Uh, we're just here for a quick pit stop though. There is something here that I want, which is this banana picker right here. On an island full of monkeys, the one with the banana picker is king. So just go ahead and put that away. Eventually, there we go. Away it goes. And here we can see an overturned cart. Looks like the result of an exciting ride. Indeed. Please don't make me go on a minecart expedition here. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Let's look at the note, though. HT, regarding mining operations. Stop them, at once. Your mining is causing sinkholes in our sacred island. Signed, JJJ. Sinkholes? JJJ, that does not sound nearly as familiar. All right, let's head back to Monkey Island. Well, at least the, the, the main part of it. Hey, there we go. Let me out of the canyon. And we need to head over to the Vista Point, where I will hike up to the top, and there will be a couple monkeys. And away the monkeys go. Now, this is, like, difficult from what I understand to try to get the, the timing right. Yeah, understand. I've been trying for a bit. There's an unusual canal cut into the side of the cliff here. Indeed there are. What's with the pile of rocks? No human would stack rocks like this. Only monkeys would. Uh, so, because I've been having difficulty with this, let, let me drop a save here. And I will be back. Okay, thanks to a quick fix, I think I am able to do this, but we will just do this. Uh, what I need to do is pick up the rocks here. And the timing on this has to be exactly perfect. Now, unfortunately, the way I'm doing it doesn't record cutscenes, so we need to do this exactly right. What I need to do is throw the first rock into the right side of the cliff. And then as soon as that goes in, pick up another rock. This one's gonna go into the middle one. We need to time it so that once it hits the root on the right there, boom, throw it into the middle. Pick up another rock. This one's going to go into the left side. So once again, line it up. And wait, wait. Once it comes out on the left side, hits the branch, you throw it again. That should get it to knock into the middle ground there. Now I need to throw this next one into the left side once it hits that root again as it goes off and... We scared Timmy. What the hell are you doing? Sorry Timmy. Throw it into the left side. Now the right one should pop out, bounce off that one and they should hit each other and go down the middle. This one goes off to the right over to the canyon where nobody is there to care about it. But this one is the important one. This is the one that we needed. This needed to go and hmm. block the lava. there aren't any more boulders on that ramp. Right, you only needed the one boulder per. So with that done, hold on while I change things around yet again. With that done, we are free to move on. We need to head over to, if they will let me. Hey, what's that? Well, what is this? It's just, we need to head over to the lava. And we see a monkey throw a bottle. Why are you throwing a bottle? Damn it, I could have landed in the lava. That would not have been good. We need to head up here and not enter the cathedral, so to speak. But 
but I do actually do I just want to head in now eh, let's head in for now we'll deal with the rest a little bit later actually I didn't want to head in but they were on the outside here we can look at shields what tiny shields they must have been used in really tiny battles that's one way to think of it there was something over here that I wanted to look at wasn't there just the shields there we go, the word of Lecha. That must be the most unholiest of Bibles. Indeed it is. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is use my trusty banana picker, the only thing in my inventory, and I want to use it with the shields. As one handy banana picker. And we are ready to head in. Uh, we can put that away for now. Is anybody in here? You want to talk to me about the word of Lechak? Greetings, Hi. my child. Welcome to the first church of Lechak, Orthodox. I am Father Allegro Rasputin. Rasputin. Oh, may I help you? You are quickly Rasputin. The first church of Lechak. The first church of Lechak? You're kidding, right? Not at all. This temple is dedicated to worshipping the awe-inspiring perfection that is Lechak. Perfection? He's an old, unholy demon pirate from Heck. How could you build a religion around LeChuck? He's an unholy demon pirate from Heck. I kindly suggest that you mind your tongue, heretic. Such blasphemies will not be tolerated in the house of LeChuck. Okay, how does it compare to other religions then? Well, how does the Church of LeChuck compare to other major religions? They're remarkably alike. Only ours has a lot more screaming flames and pointy snakes. That's kind of what I imagined. Actually, it, it is what I imagined. There's a liver of, river of lava right in the middle of your church, dude. Don't look now, but there's a river of lava flowing through the middle of your church. Yes, I know. We use it for church ceremonies. Uh, bar mitzvahs? Bar mitzvahs? Vedas. Well, I guess that's one way to cure cold feet. Fair enough. How does it fit into the wedding ceremony? How does this stream of lava fit into the church's wedding ceremonies? Good question, Tovarosh. Here at the Church of the Chuck, we see marriage as a plunge into the unknown. As a symbol of that plunge, we send our newlyweds on a harrowing ride down a river of molten lava. Doesn't that kill them? Only if the restless spirit of the Chuck doesn't approve of you. Besides, our honeymoon boats are lined with standard voodoo and hand dust vessels to keep fatalities to an acceptable minimum. Yeah, acceptable. That sounds great. Are you some kind of hologram? Are you some sort of hologram or something? Of course not. I'm a ghost. And you're a priest? Da. So you're sort of a holy ghost then? <laughs> Very clever, my child. But let's not go looking for trouble, eh? Yeah, sure, I'm looking for trouble. How'd you end up here? How'd a ghost like you end up running the first church of LeChuck? That's an interesting story, Tovarish. Why do I keep asking people their life stories? Many years ago, I was the captain of a stately ship called the Weeping Iguana. It was a good life, hauling contraband plush toys from one island to another. And then you met LeChuck? And then I met LeChuck. His crew of crazed ghost pirates made quick work of my fine ship and our equally fine crew. Ugh, I hate when that happens. Lechuk himself gutted me with his flaming ghost sword and held my still-beating pancreas in front of my face before I died. Why the papers? Uh, when I woke up, I was another member of his obedient ghost crew. Alright, do you have any, uh... Oh, do you want to be a priest? Sure, let's ask him that. How'd you go from being a ghost pirate to a ghost priest? It was a gradual process. At first, I resented the church for turning me into a ghost. But the more I thought about it, the more I came to revere him as a god. After all, he did bring me back from the dead, which is a pretty neat trick. So I decided to build this church in his honor. Do you like it? Well, how do you like being a ghost priest? The hours are good. I occasionally miss the high seas. Of course. I need some advice. I could use some advice, Padre. What's troubling you, my son? The first Lugner? How do you even say that? I need to find a way to get off this first Schlugner Island. For there Schlugner. is no escape from Monkey Island. What? That's not true. I've escaped it on at least two occasions. Well then, why don't you just escape it again, Mr. Smarty Pants? 
I, um, can't. <laughs> Alright, I need an antidote to the ultimate insult. I'm looking for an antidote to the ultimate insult. I've never heard of that, but is it? It's a voodoo talisman that shatters the souls of pirates. <laughs> During my travels with Lichak, I noticed that the easiest way to defeat a voodoo curse was by employing a bigger voodoo curse. It's bigger than But perhaps this. I'm oversimplifying your plight. Well, that's okay. My plight could use some simplifying. It usually does. Alright, good. Evil schnooks on my back. Why is everything in Yiddish here? I've got a couple of evil schnooks on my back. You must do as Lechuk does and be set by many enemies at once, my son. Run like a cowardly dog? No, you must turn your enemies' energies against themselves. How? How should I know? I'm just a ghost. Of course. All right, we're done with yeah, the like most part. Getting advice from an obsessed ghost priest seems like a bad idea. Just as a little bit. Really Am I the devil in your religion? I kind of want to know that. All right, we will try the lava plunge here. I'd like to try your lava plunge. Run, That is your brand. Um, I'm already married, and my wife is several islands away being harassed by bad guys. Well, then, you can't take the plunge. What? Let me on. Oh, come on. Let me ride a boat down a river of molten lava. What am I saying? I suppose we could use another test run before let shock any lanes in pending nuptials. What? Hop on board. Are they gonna let me in my uh, inventory? It's pink. Of course it is. Everything is pink. Oh, I'm barely tall enough, apparently. I hope this isn't the boat with the leak. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. You <laughs> Uh, we need to, to, to grab the banana picker. Actually, since it stops, I should be fine. All right, I need to steer. Steer. Okay, no, go right, left. Okay, banana picker. Use it, what, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. It's not so useful without a banana to pick. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? All right, we will, we will try this again. No. Are you what? Yes, that way. Left. All right. Left. Left. Oh no! I wanted to go that way. Actually, I think I need to be on this side. There we go. With the milk bottle. Went on the wrong side before. There we go. It didn't look like I got it, but I did, and that's all that really matters. Game? Are you kidding me? Wow. I actually get to use this banana picker more than once. Hooray. No, 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 no. Are you... Mm. They wouldn't let me move at all. All right. So we're going to need to try that again. At least I got the milk bottle. That's the easy part done. How was the ride? Really hot in some places, kind of bumpy in others, and impossible to control. In other words, a perfect metaphor for marriage. Yeah. Let's try this again. Actually, oh, no, I just want in. Fine, I, I, I'll probably have to talk to him in order to get done. Um, Your Holiness? Yes, my child. There, I do want to land. I'd like to take another test ride on your matrimonial lava plunge. This is highly unorthodox, but what the heck? That's the spirit. But I want to get this done. I need to get this done. Please, keep all hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Woo, the lava is hotter than flame. Boiled daughter and my shoes are slowly melting to the fiberglass floor. We don't have any shoes. All right, hopefully now that I don't need to get the milk bottle, it should be a little bit easier for me. All right, I want to kind of go the long way here. Once again, just left, left, left. No, more left. Are you kidding me? They wouldn't... They're not accepting my commands, like, at all here. You can hear me pounding on left, I bet. Okay, I will meet you. No, I'm gonna try it one more time, and if Please I can't get step this up to time... the boat to your right, and enjoy your visit to the first church of Lechuk, Orthodox. If it, if it doesn't work this next time, I will um, try the it? other method where yes, the commands are a little bit easier to use. All right, one more I'd time. I'd like to take another test ride on your matrimonial lava plunge. This is highly unorthodox, but what the heck? That's the spirit. Yes, unorthodox in an unorthodox church. All right, let me in. 
Gonna try this one more time. The game has given me a lot of difficulty today. If they both get stuck, just give it a good kick. And if this is what they do for weddings, I'd hate to see what their confessions are like. Ah! Right, 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 right. Let's try going around the long way, and then hopefully... See, I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll accept my commands sometimes. Sometimes. But then not others. All right, they're not left. More left. Are you kidding me? They're not. They're not letting me do it at all. I don't know what I need to do here. Okay. I will be back. <laughs> 